got a side. We got trouble. And she refused to leave. Fersman is in the... Oh, she eat... oh, there's... He's Hook's daddy. Thank you. Oh. Clock. Calm down, calm down. We're all here to work for a living. Why not sit down and talk it out? Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat! You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! Well, nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brutes! Don't bully my daddy! Oh, little hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein. But I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. It's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Back off. I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Guys, get him. You'll never lay a finger on Daddy without passing through Hook. Oh, it's you! Uh, come and help Hook! <laughs> Another punching bag? Fine by me. I'll kick all your butts! I've no interest in conflict. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Uh. This sanctuary is but a vision. Uh. Just a few scratches. Don't be afraid, young man. Your injury isn't fatal. Ah, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. The conflicts between the vagrants and the mining team have lasted for quite a long time. Uh, even if you have just uh, uh, temporarily mitigated our rather tense relationship, it is greatly appreciated. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after, somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching, otherwise I might never see it again. <sighs> it's just a tool. I guess I should let it go. Uh, let's head to the clinic.
Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. <sighs> I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves. Ask him! Hey, whose side are you on? I'm glad we're on the same page. We can't just let this kid do whatever she wants. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. I if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. Well, a few days ago, I found a Geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <clears throat> Who knows how long I can stay by your side. I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish. Think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy. Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. It's an ancient relic that I found in a mine. People say it's a device that mining teams used for detecting geomarrow veins long ago. I often carried it around looking for a fresh claim. Perhaps some villains up to no good took notice. It's a rare device, you know. No wonder somebody stole it. Uh, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look like... I want to talk to you outside the clinic now. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul.
then. I'll be waiting for you. I mean... Introduce you to Sweta. She is Daddy's most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well. I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Yes. The shelter was usually crowded, so thieves would have had a hard time stealing things when everyone was around. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... what? Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. They all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. We're all vagrants. None of us have the authority to arrest anyone just because we feel like it. <sighs> Let's see whose words contradict with the facts. And that person would be the thief. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Uh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one.
Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game.
I'm a cook. It's just that I have that old for and it's because anyway, he well, the helper over there. <laughs> Did you still Nope, I'm no really. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Mm. Didn't notice anything. Good man, but a bit of a cheat. Nope. What? Hey! What? I always talk like. I don't feel like. I know. Hmm? Did you steal. De what? We just need. Okay. Detector? Is that all the questions you have? Hmm. <laughs> What a biz I... I... I have the right to rem... No! Oh. I'll give you one... You little brat! Grow a couple of feet! Here, how about we... Great! I like your style! Bozeman is an old... We're all neighbors. I went into town to re... Look, the cook is definite. In my line of work, I've learned. Uh, look, Zach. Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook. I think the cook and merchant are the mum. Don't worry. Right. We have the cook. Was always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. Cook thought he was really sick or something. If he's working with the thief, then he's also a bad guy. My friend, are you serious? No, no, why are you making this so com- You two stop right there! Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived! Wait a second! Let's all just calm down. Is there something wrong with the source of this stuff? I mean, I got nothing to do with it. I, I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please, don't point that thing at me. It's scary. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. This, this is all that old Fursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair. Um... Well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave.
w what kind of a reason are you looking for? <laughs> anyway. Tron, get ready. What a headache. Of the past. <laughs> you sure talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Huh? No, Daddy's treasure! It's broken! Now this is Sampo's time to shine. Of course! I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here. There's a fellow in Bouldertown they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloway the Miner Slam. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. This certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Uh, yes! Look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. 
Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? The detector's probe is gone. I'm willing to... been hook i was just about to go looking for you come on let's go home i'll cook some salt baked rock crabs for you <sighs> what's wrong with this kid
Why? Big Brother White. So it was. I'm fun. Mm. What are you? But. <laughs> the detector. But at the end. Uh, <laughs> so. Is. You. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. <laughs> 